The story you've recounted is indeed intriguing and has captured the attention of many who are fascinated by the unknown and the mysterious. It blends elements of folklore, conspiracy theory, and purported eyewitness accounts into a narrative that challenges conventional understanding. According to the reported events, a group of United States Special Forces operating in Afghanistan encountered a giant humanoid creature, purportedly measuring between four to six meters in height, near a cave in 2002. The encounter resulted in a brief but intense battle, during which the creature was allegedly killed by the soldiers after being fired upon. The soldier who provided the account described the creature as having long red hair and wielding a pike, like weapon. Following the confrontation, the soldiers reportedly struggled to move the massive body, which emitted a decomposing odor, and subsequently requested helicopter assistance to transport it. The accounts further claim that the government intervened to suppress information about the incident, directing soldiers to alter their reports and keep the details of the encounter under wraps. Various sources, including interviews with soldiers involved in the incident, as well as purported eyewitness testimonies, have contributed to the dissemination of this story. Reports suggest that the giant's body was transported to a base in Ohio, USA, aboard a K-130 aircraft. Descriptions of the creature include details such as six fingers and toes, unusually large feet measuring 60-80 centimeters, and a weight exceeding 700 kilograms. Furthermore, the narrative ties into broader themes of ancient mythology and biblical lore, particularly referencing the Nephilim, a race of giants mentioned in religious texts such as the Bible. The presence of additional digits on the creature's hands and feet, as well as its red hair, are noted as potential links to these ancient accounts. The accounts also mention local rumors among Afghan residents about giants inhabiting caves and engaging in cannibalistic behavior, drawing parallels to similar folklore found in other cultures. These stories add a layer of cultural context to the purported encounter and contribute to its mystique. Critics of the official narrative accuse the government of orchestrating a cover-up to conceal the truth about the existence of such beings and their implications for mainstream scientific and religious beliefs. They argue that the public has a right to know about extraordinary events of this nature and that attempts to suppress information are unjustified. Overall, the story of the alleged giant encounter in Afghanistan remains shrouded in controversy and speculation with proponents and skeptics offering conflictics offering conflicting interpretations of the available evidence. Despite efforts to uncover the truth, many questions surrounding the incident persist, fueling ongoing debate and intrigue within both mainstream and fringe communities.